Hi there, I'm Tinman432, and welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus, my very high-budget video game series. We're already in a cutscene here, so I'm just gonna shut up and let that play out, like I always do. So from our good old doorman's little bio on that colossus, we can s we have uh, a little bit more information on it than we do other colossus. We can tell that it's kind of a worm slash snake looking thing, based on the little statue, and it has yeah. hidden tracks yeah. from under the ground, and it watches you from there. So already some build up, and this is a pretty pretty scary colossus if you're. Well, I'll just save the rest for later. But for now, let's just head out on our merry way towards this next dude that we're going to be killing. <laughs> you know, it's it's always been kind of a joke how me nonchalantly saying how we're just going to go kill another another animal here, but now I just is is not even a joke anymore. I'm just like, "Oh yeah, we're just going to go kill this next colossus. No no problem. It's it's not messed up at all." Uh, but the game does make you feel like kind of a jerk for just going around and killing the Colossus. And that's... You kind of question throughout the game whether it's worth it <laughs> to kill 16 things just to bring back your, well, quote-unquote, girlfriend. I'm not actually quoting anything. You just assume it's your girlfriend at the beginning of the game. But, yeah. Next Colossus is in this direction where you cross the bridge and then you keep going in the... Well, actually, I'm not sure which direction it is in terms of north, east, southwest, but you're going to head to quadrant B4 on your map, and then that'll get you to this Colossus. Yeah. But you're going to cross the bridge, that's where you found the second Colossus, and then keep going in the direction that I'm going. Or just follow your sword like you're supposed to do, yeah. how the game was designed. Yeah. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit, make these short videos even shorter, but um, yeah, I don't think you wanted to see me just riding around on the horse the whole time. I figured since I only have four to five viewers, I would want to impress them and only give you the exciting parts. So here's a nice little view that I found. There's lots of nice little vantage points throughout the game that you can just look around and appreciate the years of development time that went into this. Actually, this game was only made four years after the team that made this last game. So, pretty impressive that they were able to do all this. And it's kind of strange that they built this entire map with nothing in it. Kind of one of the giant mysteries that the Shadow of the Colossus community has been talking about. They've always been thinking that there has to be something more hidden in the code or something. But that, that's it, there's nothing. It's just this giant, lonely little world here. So you're going to continue going on with your horse. I know I said I would just cut these parts out, but clearly... I'm not. Because yeah. yeah. up ahead, there's a few of those little lizard things and a yeah. shrine right before the cave that you'll be fighting the Colossus in. Yeah. Sorry I'd, if I spoiled the experience by telling you there was a cave, but it's about to appear in about 20 to 30 seconds, so no worries about it. Yeah. You're looking for a cave, that's all I'm trying to say. And once we round this corner, we should be there. No, I'm sorry for lying to you guys yet again. Um, there is no cave right there, you might say. You do actually you do you actually have to run into the corner. I'm sorry. Right here you can see the shrine, and like I just said, there's a lizard here, so we're gonna stop here, do some little stealth approach here, see if I can shoot it off the horse. And there we go. Perfect aim. From however far away I am. <laughs> After you get through the game, you'll 
get quite a better at hunting these little lizards and finding fruit throughout the trees that make your health bigger. But you really don't have to worry about the stamina or health unless you're um, very bad at the game. <laughs> I'll just say that. So we get that. And then we're going to go on to the cave that's over here and see what's in there. I have no idea what's in there. Possibly a colossus. Maybe that's why the light was pointing in that direction. I don't know. Well, let's find out. It is recommended that you have aggro for this next, uh... Oh, well, I'm not gonna tell you what's next. I, I bet you can guess, though. There are some bats that fly around in here. I'm pretty sure they're not birds. I'm, I'm pretty positive that they're bats. And I always thought that they're cool, because they're not really anywhere else in the game. On second thought, they, they just might be birds, but... Given that this is a cave, I, I like to pretend. So, it looks like aggro should be here any second now. Because we, we, we kind of need her for this next... Uh, okay, I'm going to tell you guys. If you, if you don't want to hear, just cover your ears. It, it's a colossus. There's a colossus in there. In the cave. So, so yeah, you, you need aggro. I don't know if I told you this already, but you're going to want your horse over here for this next fight. So... You know what, let's just wait a few minutes. And there she is. Took long enough, in my opinion. So, alright. Let's yeah. head on in there. Yeah. 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 When I said let's head on in there, I, m I meant yeah. let's, let's go into the... In that room there. <laughs> now this horse can be pretty stubborn sometimes, and it 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 feels weird getting angry at a video game horse. Also, look at those cave formations. Pretty neat stuff. Almost as if it was uh, designed that way by someone. Strange. This would be the perfect place to put a a, a colossi, a, an enemy, a boss fight. I don't know. Oh, what's this? A cutscene? What can this mean? Oh, what could that mean? It is quite possible. You guessed it, guys. There's another Colossus down here. Alright, this Colossus name is uh, Dirge, I think that's how you pronounce it, or that's at least the name that the Shadow of the Colossus yeah. fan base has given it. And it's a sandworm snake thing. And this fight's pretty intense, it's it's a giant worm under the ground chasing you, it's... <laughs> oh, sorry about that. It's kind of scary when you kind of put yourself in the position of this player, or you, you are the player actually, when you play the game. And... Yeah. Uh, you're trying to run towards it because you want to kill it. I don't know why you want to kill it. You know why you want to kill it. But it's also running towards you, trying to kill you. And then every now and then, it'll peek up and you'll see its eyes. It's giant eyes, and you're like, oh, that's terrifying. So you decide to shoot it. <laughs> and once you shoot it, it kind of spins out of control and rams into a wall. So what you gotta do then, you gotta run towards it, and guess what? Its weak points are conveniently... Uh, on the top of its body, so you gotta climb up there and start stabbing it. Like any well-designed boss fight. This is a pretty intuitive puzzle, but it is pretty difficult to get the turning around and shooting the eyeballs part. But once you figure that out and get up here, then all you gotta do is stab the weak points. Again, speaking way too nonchalantly for a game about killing animals. Where was PETA when this game came out? Honestly. So this poor helpless thing, eventually, it'll regain its, its, I don't know, its balance, and then it'll kind of fall back into the ground, which really shouldn't be able to happen, but it does. So you gotta call aggro back and do the same thing again. You know, I was about to say I really like the uh, track that plays during this boss fight, but it just faded out. Um, Anyway, the track's called A Messenger From Behind. It's probably one of my more, more, more betterest favorite tracks in the game. 
and it's, it's just pretty intense music, in my opinion. So we're going to turn around and attempt to shoot it in the eyeballs again, like any normal person going on a colossal hunt. Miss, and then there we go. Like I said before, the aiming is kind of difficult, but it is quite a bit easier if you lock onto the Colossus, press in, holding L1, and then zoom in, which is R2. I don't know, I, I actually haven't played this game in a few months. I'm, I, I recorded all this gameplay, and then I'm only commentating on it right now. But I, I'm pretty sure those are the controls. I, I do remember this game quite a bit. So we're kind of struggling a bit to get on the head, or not the head, but the second weak point here. Second and last weak point. But we made it, so just start stabbing it and hope we get to finish it off before it's able to dig back in the ground. I sound like a psychopath, and for that I really can't apologize. I blame video games. Anyway, we've killed the Colossus. And there it goes. The poor little dude. And just like every Colossus I've performed before, this one dies and then sends out little spaghetti strings to come and get absorbed into our body. Like that pasta stuff. That, that spaghetti thing started off as a joke too, but now that's actually what I, that's actually what I think of them as little spaghetti noodles. I don't know why I call them strings. That wasn't part of the joke. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. Hope I hope you enjoyed this little twelve-minute time slot of your life. Hope you did watch the video, and if you did like it, then that's cool. Uh, go ahead and like it. <laughs> yeah, thank you for watching. My name is Ten Man Four Three Two, and hopefully I'll have this next episode up. Uh, I don't know. Sometime. Sometime. Peace and sheep. <laughs>